Whenever you have a car in an odd angle or strange position, that's when you bring out your snatch block. Now this two-ton snatch block is sold by Mighty Products and it is very reliable. So you have a swivel and a nice safety hook and your pin goes here. So now we're going to demonstrate how to use the snatch block properly. Whenever you use it, always insert your pin back in and always tighten it down because what happens is the jaw is going to come open, it's going to fly open, potentially having the cable skip off and harm someone. So we always preach safety over at Mighty Products. We're going to open it up so you can see. Simply open up the jaw. Send your cable through, close the jaw, and then the ratings are right here so you can see it's a two ton snatch block. That's the working load. Actually, that's the working limit. Nice and tight. Then you're going to run this over to the edge of your deck. This one may fit in, yeah. Sometimes they don't fit in, and then you would have a chain snatch block or you would add a chain onto here. Either way it go. But this one fits in, so we're good to go. And also, it's a very lightweight vehicle. The heavier the vehicle, the heavier the chain, the larger the snatch block. And in Mighty Products, we have all of those snatch blocks available. Whenever winching a vehicle, friction is very important and friction will cause damage. So you use your skates whenever you're using a snatch block to prevent and to re reduce the amount of pressure on your cable. Again, on a long pull, I may put these directly underneath it. If it's a rough surface, I may put these directly underneath it. But being that we're on a smooth surface here, I can get away with putting them right at the tips of them and slide the car along the pavement. I'm going to insert them, give it a good jam, nice and snug. Keep in mind that the drive axle is the one that needs the skate underneath it. But what we're going to do, we're going to assume that the car has a, a bad ball joint or a bad hub bearing. In that case, we will use two skates on the front end of the vehicle. Nice little snug. Sometimes you would use a rubber mallet, but these right here haven't gone wrong yet, so they do fine. Now, as you can see, we're on the side of the truck where the, if the cable broke, that would be a total tragedy. We're going to switch sides because if the cable breaks, again, we are encouraging safety. We want to be away from the break of the cable, okay? Come on over here. Now look at the difference now. How much safer do you feel with that cable away from you on that side of the truck than if we were standing right next to it? It's very important. If that snaps, we're right in the direction of the snap. You never want to be in, you want to be away from the snap, okay? That's how you get a vehicle out of their parking spot with a snatch block. It's a bad angle. You use the snatch block to create that angle and to bring it to the truck out of the slot.